Hi guys, uh, RedBear773 here, and I want to show you what I've learned lately, I mean very lately, with the past couple of weeks, on how to reskin locomotives in Railroad Tycoon 3. And I'm not real good at it yet, but I know the basics. And um, we'll start here in, in your program files, your Railroad Tycoon 3 file. And then there's something here, User Skinner Tools. Now, I'm pretty sure you have to have at least coast-to-coast -coast expansion. That's 1.05 for this to work. You can get that easily from hawkdog.com or even that one you can get from the game website because that came from the game Pop Top. And um, so here's, you can also do uh, company logos and player portraits. I don't really, I haven't tried to do anything with that yet. But here in train skin, now what you have here are the skins for all the different locomotives. Well, except for the new ones that you get from the website, but everything else is in here. And that's the applications. We won't be using that quite yet. First, we have to decide what locomotive we're going to do. And um, let's see. We'll pick something simple like the Baldwin. Because I was saying that I wanted to do something with that. Baldwin 060. Now, there's profile. That is for the little picture of the locomotive that goes down and the information you know when you try to pick which skin you want so profile you do have to edit eventually if you want to be able to distinguish it and there's the tender there's the loco and there's the beauty shot the beauty shot is just the picture uh, when you look at the information on the locomotive that has a picture up high so that one you really usually don't have to touch but let's start with the loco. Now, what you need is you need a photo editing software that can handle .tga. Um, from the website, what I gathered is you need either uh, Photoshop or what I'm using is GIMP, GIMP 2.0. I'll put a, a link in the, in the description. Uh, this does not like <laughs> being recorded, I think. But anyway, here it is. This is the skin. I, it takes a while to try to figure this out um, because you have to all the pieces are kind of just flattened out over the screen you have to figure out what goes where where I mean this one's pretty simple obviously that's the wheel you know this is the cab here and really all you're going to edit it in this skin is whatever's this reddish brown color we're going to turn something else and pretty much what you do is, is you you edit it a bit you save it and stuff and you play it in the game and you see what you did and then you can also like put a mark somewhere if something's what you don't know what it is and then you can save it and look at it in the game and say oh that's the roof or that's the side of the the, uh, the boiler or whatever like this is obviously the smoke box cover there that's one thing we'll edit too um, like I'm obsessed with the OW so let's cover that up we're going to, let's see, first we're going to pick a color, this grayish color, and we're going to paint over that. And, uh, just, you know, this typical photo editing stuff, I'm still kind of new at this, so I'm not real good at it. I'm very blocky, like, see, I don't really know how to blend that too well. I just kind of paint the whole thing like that, I can do this. So that's a lot worse than it was. And the, of course the good thing is you can just undo everything. So see I, did, I didn't like what I did there, so undo. Um, no, we're just we're just gonna pencil over it. That's good enough. And then we're going to bring in the O and W logo. So I'm gonna go to my pictures and I have this good picture. Where is it? Right here. You can drop it in and have another layer, and then what I'm going to do, I bring in this whole picture just to cut out this OW logo. Look at that. There, now I, I got my OW logo. I'm just edit and cut it out. And then I can delete that whole layer. I don't need it anymore. Now I have to shrink it down. 
it, it's way too big. It needs to be probably more than halfway down. So you go to scale layer and it's at 48 by 48 by 49 now. Let's try what half would be 24. You just got to play with things a lot. And just remember anything you do, yeah, it needs to be a little smaller. Anything you do can be undone. Oh, see? Look what I just did. <laughs> I just deleted it for no good reason. There. Okay, now, got yeah, layer. Um, that's 24. Let's try. I think it usually ends up like 18, 19. There, right in the middle. And when, when your layer is where you want it, you just well, anchor down if you cut it, or sometimes it's merged down instead of anchored down. I don't really know why. Sometimes it's merged down, sometimes it's anchored down. But anyway, there it is. There's your logo, O&W. And when it's zoomed out, you're not even going to notice this other painting around. Not much, anyway. And then, um, I don't know what else I want to change. Uh, yeah, I like the little detail, but oh, I know what I want to do. We will black out the middle here. shorter brush strokes and we'll put some kind of number now the problem with these skins most of the time especially with numbers or lettering is anything you put on one side is going to get mirror imaged over on the other so if I put you know some kind of number here it's going to get flipped around and and not look good on the other side a lot of times I just deal with that and do it anyway but sometimes I get around it by doing something like Oh, you know what? Never mind. I, I always forget to change the color. White. But, um, you can get around it by doing something like... What's going on here? There. 88. That way, it's the same either way. And once again, we have to shrink it down. Well, not by much. Just a little bit. Oh, do not do that. You don't want to move the whole big layer around. I don't know if anything really happens, but it's not something that I would do. <laughs> and we're going to scale it down. Let's see, we're at 21 now, maybe 18. Why 19? See, just a little bit. Put it in the middle, maybe a tiny bit more. There, that's good. And then you see this time it's not anchor, it's merged down. There. There you go, 88. And I'm not sure where this is. The back? Probably. You know, and I think that's about all I'm going to do with this, because I kind of like this color, and this color. I got my logo on, and I put a number there instead of just some filigree, and um, I think we're done. And I'll show you how to save. Now, this is very, very important. If you don't do this the right way, then it won't work. So we're going to rename uh, underscore... OM for Oswego Midland, I guess, even though I put no W symbol, it doesn't matter. Save. Now, right here, whenever you do this the first time, the default will be like that. The check mark and bottom left. You can't do that. It has to be unchecked here for compression, and the origin has to be top left. If you don't do that, it's just a scrambled mess. And uh, we can close this. And like this. And like this. And now, uh, now we can change the tender actually. And how am I doing on my time? Okay, let's change the tender real quick. Uh, all I'm going to do is add the logo again. So it's really these early uh, locomotives. There's really not much else to do.
to it besides that a logo. And let's see, this is the top. This is the side. I recognize the side here. Now, probably these early locomotives that would, should, should probably be, you know, riding across the tender, New York, Oswego, Midland, but um, it'll get reversed on the other side and not look too good. So I'm just going to stick the logo on there again. <laughs> and you know what? When you cut something, it comes up like that for a brush, but it's too big. Yeah. Let's see if I can just paste again. See if it remembers. Yes. Beautiful. And we're going to resize it. The outlier it's called. And 48. We're pro it's probably 18 again. Oh, that's pretty small. Let's see. Might be able to go a little bigger again. That looks pretty good. Well, maybe three. There. You will just move it around to where you want it. It, I mean, it might look like I know what I'm doing right now, but it took me a long time to get this far. You know, I spent night after night on this for a while. And like when I wasn't making L my LP for a couple of days, that's what I was doing. And then you just anchor layer. And there you go. I think that's all I'm going to do. And we're going to, we're going to save it. And tender underscore. The, the program that makes the skins does not like spaces. So you have to put in underscores. Once you uncheck this and move this once, then it remembers until the next time you start up the program. But I tell you, I spent probably a day trying to make skins and not knowing why it wasn't working because I had that compression thing checked. Okay, now we use the tender train skin utility here. And you pick this train that you're changing, Baldwin 060, and it's going to be called New Baldwin 060, and then you have to pick the skin that you just made, Hanswego Midland. And profile, I didn't make a new profile or beauty shot because it's very minimal change that we're doing here. And then the tender, that's why I go middle. And then you hit convert. That takes a couple minutes. And turns it into a PK4, basically. And sticks it in the user extra content folder. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like. I will be right back. And I'm back, and look what I did. Here's the Baldwin. Here's the default skin. There's the green, the one that I already had, that you know somebody else made that I found. And there's the skin. There's <laughs> the profile picture that I put on. Apparently, I put on that um, that A whatever it is locomotive. I didn't realize I did that. Well, it makes it distinguishable anyway. And let's buy it and see what it looks like. Uh, normal speed please and um, sorry I didn't rescale the recorder to the window but I guess I can't do that when it's only paused and I just want to show you what we did let's see yeah, let's get through this area uh, you, can, you can barely even see the O&W because it's blended in with the gray and then you've got the, the red headlight thing and everything else but it's there it's right there and there's the 88 under the window and it gets reversed but it doesn't matter because it's just a couple eight and there's the little O and W on the side of the tender I guess we could have gone bigger but then we would have wiped out some of the rivets there I hate, that's what happens with skinning though is you end up losing detail in order to change things well I do anyway because I'm not that much of an artist but anyway I like it like this with the little O and W logo and very simplistic very nice and we're all done here. Alright, I will see you next time uh, on something else.